Now to the road to recovery in Gaylord. Widespread ruin and rubble still covering the city days after a deadly EF3 tornado roared through. Crews with FEMA are getting their first up close look at all the damage there. Two people died, dozens more injured on Friday. 7 Action News reporter Simon Shaquette went to Gaylord within hours of the tornado touching down. Now he's returning to check on the community's recovery and how families are receiving help. Today we're getting our first up close look at the sheer destruction caused by a tornado here at the Nottingham Mobile Home Park in Gaylord. All of this being surveyed by FEMA as they assess the damage. Touring the hard hit Nottingham Mobile Home Park, much of which is destroyed. Those taking part in a site survey looking to determine extent of the loss and how much assistance will be needed for Otsego County. Some people are just walking away, not even coming back. Angela Laslett surviving the deadly twister, but her home is now unlivable. She's also thinking of her neighbors whose homes were mangled by Mother Nature. I mean, mentally, physically, <laughs> exhausting, just trying to get my mind around everything. Around the corner, animals are still being rescued. Volunteers making their way through to offer help. Getting these emotional sport animals back to people. We just here to help out, you know. Kate Jones is sharing her own pain with us after the death of a friend and being released from the hospital for minor injuries. She's expressing sadness being felt by an entire community. What goes through your mind at this point? I'm heartbroken. This is this is our family. This is our friends. What we are looking at is is the is the overall impact of such a severity that the community and the state cannot recover without federal assistance. FEMA will also visit local businesses and the downtown as part of a one to two day tour. They're encouraging those with insurance to file claims right away and everyone to take photos of damage and make contact with volunteer agencies for short term housing and aid. And we're really going to be looking at the overall impacts, not just to the homeowners and the renters, but also to the overall community. We're here with our partners with the Small Business Administration, and all of that information is going to be gathered up throughout the day, and we're going to turn that over to the state of Michigan. The state will have 30 days from the day of the tornado to apply for a federal disaster declaration and relief. That's when I looked out the window. Among those hoping to be eligible, Jerry Speckman, who lost the home he was renting and everything in it. Since Saturday, when we first spoke with him, he's been staying at a friend's place, praying for his son and daughter, who remain hospitalized with serious injuries. Probably what we're going to need is uh, some kind of, like, you know, therapy maybe for some people. You know, I mean, look what my kids are going through. They're still in ICU, and I'm sure they're going to have, you know, issues afterwards. Michigan State Police, the Emergency Management Agency, and FEMA are all working together to assess the total damage caused by this EF3 tornado. And as soon as more information is released, we'll bring that to you. From Gaylord, Simon Shaykat, 7 Action News.